Welcome to Rusi Fail. So after dying at the end of last week's episode, I've spawned back in at Cherno. Ooh, this guy doesn't look so well. No flies. Obviously hasn't been here that long. Thanks for the pair, buddy. As I run in towards Cherno, I spot another survivor. Still very early game, and he looks like he's trying to be friendly too. How you going, buddy? Yo, hey, bud. All good? Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna hear you. I'm, oh, oh, this is wrong. Buddy. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm I don't really have bro. anything, so it's all good. Just send in Cherno. Oh, Take care, man. Sorry? Wait, wait, are we in Cherno? Just make sure. Sorry? Uh, are we in Cherno? Yeah, this is Cherno. This is the outside. Oh, I just found Cherno. E because the motorbike is on it. Sorry? Uh, I'm trying to find my mate. Electro, Electro's that way, right? Uh, Electro, yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% certain. Alright, man. Good luck, bro. You too. Take care. If he didn't kill that survivor back there. He's surely going to think that I killed that survivor back there. So I'm moving on. I get myself set up. I follow my usual plan now. I'm quite healthy. Lots of food. Got a little bit of weapons. I have been hearing some noises. There are other players around. This is exactly what I'm looking for. It's time to be less of a coward and time to start engaging with other players. Bingo. That's not at me. There's another player. There he is. But do I play the hero or do I play the villain? It looks like he's dealt with them. I guess it's the villain. He's not talking. He doesn't want to engage. Sorry, buddy. Let's see what you've got. The gun will attract more attention than I want, as well as more zombies than I want. I swap to the pipe wrench and deal with the infected that have come for me. Let's see what he's got. He hasn't been around that long, but he's got more food than I do, so I'll take that. I'm surprised I managed to one-shot him so easily. He must have been hurt or or at least recovering from being hurt from some infected. I take what I can and then I decide to try and put his glow stick somewhere for him. Will that fit there? Yes. I can see that he's killed some infected recently and the shooting may have attracted other players. So I decide to hide out in this little shop, sort out the loot I've got and also eat some of the food that I've collected. I've got a few parts for guns at the moment but nothing complete. I'm going to do what I always do when I spawn into Cherno. I'm going to do the southern loot run, head out to Prison Island and then make my way inland.
I'm not sure if everyone else gets it, but when I eat cat food, if I have more than three bites at a time, I start to throw up. There's still signs of players around, and they've decided to check out these apartment towers. I haven't been in these larger apartment towers since I first played the game nearly 10 years ago. I know there is a way you can get up to the higher levels, but I can't figure it out at the moment. I'm sure you used to be able to run up these stairs or jump or do something to get up there. And then once you're up on the first level, you could make your way to the roof. I can't seem to figure it out, so maybe they've patched it. I then try the elevator shaft, see if there's something in here that you can do to get up. And I'm dead. The way I fell, the way everything, just seemed really suspicious. Luckily enough, I get another Cherno spawn. And I basically run straight back. I start gathering all my loot. And at the time, I don't realise that my glasses are ruined and my bandana are ruined. I'm just gathering everything that I can. Then I try and collect my hat. And I have all sorts of difficulties with my hat. And that's when I realised my hat's actually ruined. So I think I've been headshot. And especially since my glasses and bandana are ruined, I've been headshot by something. So maybe someone was up the top of the shaft, but they didn't come down and loot my body. My guess is that I've been hit by a magic bullet from a hacker. The hackers take so much away from this game, it's a shame. Anyway, I head on on the southern loot run, and as you can see, I'm probably more geared than I've ever been. I'm not a huge one for the full military outfit, but I've decided to give it a go. Helmet, plate carrier, you name it, I've got it. I don't have the best weapons yet, but I'm certainly well protected. There's been a fair bit of noise coming from up north towards the northwest airfield. I've actually made my way to Lopatino or Lopatino, which, fun fact of the day, means blade in Ukrainian. Um, I'll have to find out why it's named blade. I'm not sure why. But maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. But there has been some shooting around here. Could be coming from Northwest Airfield or from people heading that way or fighting from that way as it is fairly close. And I think I want to just go fill my water bottle up and then head for the Northwest Airfield. The Northwest Airfield is also somewhere that I haven't been in probably eight, nine years. Um, in all the time I've been playing recently, I haven't gone there. It's always too much of a hot spot. And that's not how I really play the game. As I'm now getting more confident and looking for more interactions, I'm looking for more hot spots. As well as being near the Northwest Airfield, there's also a helicopter crash just on the outskirts of Lopatina. You can just see the smoke over that house there. So I'm also thinking that I might be able to maybe stake it out get one back I'm a little concerned that this two-story house actually overlooks the water fountain so there might be someone in that too and there's the fountain just there I can hear an infected in the house here yep he's just in there I'll just lock him in for now the door to the house is open too little concerning I keep an eye on the house and the other houses nearby just in case but I think I might be in the clear sure enough there was someone here I'm not sure where they were Surely they're going to finish me. Nope. Maybe they can't see me. I'm stuck on the ground. I can't seem to figure out how to get up. Oh no, he's standing on me. How do I get up? Get up. Let's get up. Oh god. Alright, I'm up. There's my gun. Let's go. Oh god. So can they only see me when I'm standing up? 
Surely they're gonna finish me now. I'm lying here. I'm just waiting for the you are dead screen. This is torture. Come on, finish me off. Oh my god. Alright, I got my gun this time. They mustn't be able to see me. Let's get out of here. If I can get into this house, I'll probably be okay. Oh, you dirty third person player. <laughs> oh, I <no>, gotcha. <laughs> I'll take that. Ooh, watch those grenades. Oh my god, the adrenaline. Alright, I'm safe. Oh, but I'm pretty hurt. One shot, one hit from a zombie and I'm probably dead. Let's go. Oh, I hope he was alone. I imagine he was alone. Imagine just sitting there third personing people through the window. That's just, uh, I guess it's part of the game. It's not how I'd like to play it though. I'm in a fair bit of pain. I know I've got some painkillers. I haven't lost any blood. I don't have any cuts. That's just amazing. The helmet, the chest plate, they just must work. It must be why everyone wears them. I don't know. It just doesn't seem survival enough to be full military. But sure enough, I think I've got to change the way I play and start wearing more military gear. I just wish I could, you know, put it under a quilted jacket, make it look a little less military I don't think that's how this game should be played this should be a survivalist game but that's my opinion I wait up in this room for a while I've closed the door at the bottom of the stairs so I should hear if someone is trying to sneak up on me I'm hoping to get my health level a little further up my blood's good I took some vitamins with the painkillers Hopefully I can regain my, I guess, my health level fairly quickly. Because right about now, one or two hits from an infected and I'd be dead. I decide no one else must be here. It must have just been him. And it's time to check out the loot that he's got. Got a fair bit of kit. Oh, he's got a lot of kit. I work my way through all the loot that he's got. Everything that I think I can take with me. Everything of use. I don't want to hang around too long because the shooting could have attracted other players. But all the loot on him and, and a couple more piles of loot on the ground. He's killed a few other survivors. He must have been, oh. Yeah, okay, that's a whole bag of fun, isn't it? Oh God, look at all of this. Wonder how long he's been camping here, third personing people. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't sit here and hide in third person view at a water fountain. He's obviously been doing it a while. He's got a few geared players. I decide that that's enough excitement for me for the day. I don't want to head toward Northwest Airfield anymore. Or the helicopter crash. I think I'm going to go and try and stash some of this loot. I head southwest from Lopatano. I'm in a little bit of forest, which is a little bit out of the way. Probably not very common area for people to run through. It's just a little patch, mainly surrounded by uh, open fields. And I decide to make myself an improvised shelter here. I've made a video previously about how to make an improvised shelter. Back on official service, it is a little harder to place them. I can't place them right in the thick of a tree like I could on the community service. 
but this should do for now. I don't plan on leaving gear in there when I'm not logged in. I'll just leave the gear in there when maybe I'm online, run around, do a bit of a loot run, just so I'm not carrying everything with me all the time. With all the materials now gathered, I can put together the shelter. It should be pretty well hidden. And I might put some wooden crates under the trees nearby just in case. I've repaired most of my clothing. Fixed myself up pretty well here with this little camp. This might do for now. And I still think I'll head towards Northwest Airfield. I'll see this server has seemed quite busy, which is good. And I haven't been bothered by any hackers since I left the coast. I decide that I might log out from under this tree when I notice that my backpack is ruined. I contemplate running back to Lake Patino and maybe seeing if there was another backpack there I could grab from the dead body. It's just a little too far away and it has been quite some time. So I imagine the body may have despawned and who knows who else is hanging around there. I also decide to check out this castle quickly in case there are players hanging out on the top of it. Quite often people pitch tents on the top of these castles or build watchtowers, anything like that. This castle looks pretty clear. It's pretty nearby, so I might be able to run over later and take a look. But that's been enough excitement for the day. I think that'll do me. I'll think I'll log out. watching all the way to the end guys i say it every week and i'll keep saying it it really does mean a lot to me it really helps that youtube algorithm out if you're looking at this image here you can see the sneaky little third person is in the window the smoke from the helicopter and <laughs> infected trying to go for me what a crazy ride thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one